All right, today we're going to show you a little bit of wiring, basically kind of like wiring 101 and what to look for when you're going to hardwire into a vehicle. And what hardwire means is actually getting to the wires and splicing into them and making a connection. T1 connectors are different. They actually have a connection point where the connection point in a harness that you take apart and you fit the T in the middle of that. And on this vehicle, we'll show you a typical wiring schematic and a couple of variants from that. And a typical connection point is like where this wiring comes into the back of the taillight and there's always going to be a connection point almost always. Older vehicles, it was ran straight, but pretty much any of your newer vehicles, you're always gonna have a wire harness with a snap connection like this. And basically a T1 connector is simply would just go ahead and fit in between this harness. Usually there's like a little tab right here that you push down somewhere on the, on the assembly and you pull it apart. And then your T connector would actually fit in between here and then, and then you, your wiring come off from there. And that's essentially how a T connector works. Most of the times, um, you'll have just one connection you need to make to but occasionally on T connectors, you'll have to go from two different places. Basically, you'll have to tap, you'll tap in behind the right turn or the driver's side taillight and then run a wire to the other side of a T connector to the passenger side also. A lot of T connectors are like that. It's just how the wiring's made because the wiring on vehicles predominantly come in two different varieties. In this application here, the wire harness actually comes down the driver's side, comes across here to the taillight on the driver's side Tees off, goes into a driver's light, and then goes on over to the passenger side tail light. Now also that, that split right here, instead of being right here to tee off, that could be on another, in the other variety is it goes up further back in the vehicle. A lot of minivans, SUVs are like this, the mini SUVs. The harness will have just one going down each side of the vehicle. And that rate, you're still going to have to go from one side to the other to make your connection points. Like in this particular instance, we could actually tap everything from on this side of the vehicle to the harness right here. Uh, that's kind of a more of an exception than the norm. And a lot of times, it might not even be practical to just to get right here if you know where the harness it is. It might be easier just to make your connections behind the taillight, run it underneath the plastic, under, across, and back to the other side and just keep everything in the trunk area so you don't have to take apart all this stuff. 